Hey everybody, it's Temple Gamer here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be jumping back into AFK Journey and we're going to be taking a look at what my account looks like at three weeks. It's actually three weeks and three days. I want to show you what the progression looks like. A little bit of paying. Um, it's not completely free to play like my beta account is, but I've made quite a bit of progress in the three weeks that this game has been live. So we're going to go ahead and run through that. So let's check it out. All right, and welcome back. So let's just go ahead, just take a look at a few things here, right? So if we take a look at the main story, I've unlocked this final area. So Remnant Peaks, that's the final area of the story so far. You'll get all the way up to Remnant Peaks 8, and then uh, there's going to be a continuation there. We don't have that story just yet, but um, this is what it looks like so far. So we got through Hollowstone and the Wheatshire up in through Dark Forest. This is where you unlock the Primal Lord. Then you move into Veduso Mountains. There's another Primal Lord over here. This one opens up in five days. And then you're going to clear all of that here. So I do have some things I need to go in here and clear out. Uh, the story is done right now. Right now, I'm waiting to complete my AFK stage requirement, which is, if we go down to this, uh, it's going to be AFK, AFK, AFK <laughs> stage 745. Uh, so... Let's take a look at some other areas of my account. If we take a look at who I have right now in my roster, here is, I've got uh, three 160s and two 150s. I should, today, I'll hit um, enough Hero Essence. This tends to be the, the gate when it comes to progressing your characters is this purple Hero Essence down here. I've got a ton of books for uh, experience here, I'm good there. Gold really hasn't been a major issue as long as you don't overspend in uh, the forge. But right here, this hero essence, that is the real issue because there's no real way to even purchase it. Even for pay to win players, you can't even really purchase it anywhere. Uh, if we go into here, we just take a look at the areas where you can get it. Oh, hold on, back up. Uh, so right here, look at this, so AFK rewards your instant AFK, the Noble Path and Legend Trial. That's really it. You definitely want to keep up on your Legend Trial. Those are your towers, so you can get as much of this as possible to help you continue to progress. But this right here, this is going to be the main sticking point for you. All right, so if we take a look, I've got a great cast of characters here. Uh, my main team, I'll just go into here really quick, my AFK stage 709. And if I go into, into this, this has been my main team here. So I've got Thorin up front uh, with Rowan here. I'll sometimes have... Uh, um, What's his name here? Da, 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 da. I can't remember. He's right here. Where's he? Oh, he's on. Uh, he's on my second one here. This guy here. What is his name again? I don't know why I can't remember Smokey's name, but that's Smokey there. Um, so I'll sometimes have him in there as well. I'll, obviously, I got Odie, Carolina, and uh, Cecilia here. Cecilia is someone you get really early on. Definitely worth investing in. She she will carry you a long way. I know. Uh, I know quite a few people who uh, continued to invest in Cessia and has taken them way beyond 700. So this is where I am right now. I'm on stage 710. Uh, you get into a point where you've got multiple stages to select from. Like here, this is like, what, stage 711. This is 712. I can run into either one of them if I would like. So you, d you definitely have some options, but you run into some situations here where you have to have two teams and you have to beat both of these in order to progress past that stage uh, and it can get a little bit challenging if you don't have two really good teams all right so uh taking a look at my resonance hall uh so right now i'm at 150 i've got two characters left to get up to 160 to pull everybody up all of my artifacts are maxed out as far as i can go right now until i hit 160 so they're all level nine and then as far as my gear my equipment i'm sitting at reson at resonance level 156 uh, the important part about this is just making sure do your um, do your upgrading on your equipment as much as you can. Uh, there's going to be a point to where you can also forge your lower materials for higher grade materials so that you can upgrade your gear here. Um, purchase only what you need from the forge. So if we go here into Iron Hoof's forge right here, um, I only purchase out of here when I absolutely need to and only if it's an upgrade. Once you get to Endgame, what I've done with my Endgame account is I use this store as a way to disassemble equipment to get materials I need to ascend or to level up 
uh, the equipment that I currently have. So if I go into here, I've got only two of these that's gonna allow me to upgrade and it costs a million. It's, it's expensive. Right now I've got four million gold. It's a million for each one of these. Uh, but these are these are two classes that I really don't need to focus too heavily on right now. Uh, I don't feel like I'm really far behind on them right now, so I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna worry about that. A lot of this too here will be will be spent in upgrading your artifacts. Also, if you take a look at what's required for your artifacts, it's quite a bit of gold that's needed to upgrade these, and I think these are important too. Um, and as far as kind of which ones are important, I'll tell you. Uh, three that I use the most is this confining spell. Uh, this one right here, iron wall spell, I use more than anything else. This just gives uh, increases physical and magical defense for that frontmost character. Uh, this one, the confining spell, I use a lot when I hit an area where I'm not really worried about the physical defense here. It's about all of the back end heroes that tend to launch all of their abilities really quickly, and in PvP, it works out pretty well. That and this one here, this Star Shard spell, this one here, I think what I like about this, so uh, every four times allied heroes cast their ultimates, a flame wave is unleashed on all allies. The flame wave deals true damage equal to 16% of the target's health. Uh, also, the flame wave reduces the target's attack speed. So this is helped in PvP as well. Every now and then, I'll do the Awakening spell and this Enlightening spell. Awakening obviously incre uh, does some healing, which definitely offsets if you don't have a healer on on board, but then you also have this a lightning spell, uh, in lightning spell that increases the attack speed of your backmost hero. Um, I use that the least now, to be honest with you. I used to use, the, uh, use that a lot, but the top three, number one is definitely this iron wall spell. I use that the most. Number two would be the confining spell. And number three for me would be the star shard spell as far as how, how often I use them. All right. So other than that, if we take a look at, uh, what our battle modes here, so most of the Dream Realm, I've gotten on to Elite. I now am starting to venture into Hell mode here. So I've got this boss on Hell. Uh, so I'm working on defeating him. I just did that today, actually. And the other bosses are all on the Elite 2. Elite, is it Elite 2? Um, right before Hell. So uh, Honor Duel, continue to work on this. I think this is important. Make sure to do get your 12 wins. Um, every single time this turns around because you want all these different rewards here uh, You want the summons and the crystals and the um, and the gold and everything there Also, this is going to help you in the guild event that's currently happening. So keep an eye on this. We're number 20 right now But uh, dream realm arena arcane labyrinth and honor duel all help you with this glory expedition So you want to make sure that you rank and place in those and do those all the time um, It may get I'll tell you, it's a little bit boring in Honor Duel once you spend up, uh, once you once you do all of your wins here, um, and really all it is is you're just working towards points at that point. Uh, but definitely make sure you get your 15 wins so you can grab all your rewards here. All right, um, in Arena, I'm currently sitting at Legendary One. I was up in Legendary Two, so I'm kind of going back and forth between Legendary One and Legendary Two right now. Uh, not a huge focus for me, but enough of a focus for, to make sure that I use all of my attempts every day. Also, at the point to where I am right now, I get two additional t attempts for free. So that's seven uh, ba arena battles every single day at reset. Uh, and I just make sure to claim all my rewards here. Uh, on battle drills, uh, make sure you get into a guild. Battle drills is important. You get a lot of great rewards here. I'll just go into guild loot over here. Oh, actually, it's not going to let me. Yeah, here we go. You'll have two options here. You'll have this chest of valor, uh, this adventurer's treasure, and this stalwart ward horde. You, so you have a choice between getting, you know, some of these A level soul stones, some acorns, and some invite letters and diamonds here, or you can go with stalwart ward horde, which is all summons and diamonds. That's typically where I tend to go right now. Um, I was going for this adventurer's treasure because you get a few of these guild medals. I just don't think it's worth it anymore, to be honest with you. I think probably the best here is going to be the Salt Ward Horde, so you can get your summons and your diamonds, because that's the main focus in this game. Your summons and your diamonds, the more summons you get, the more duplicates you get, the more ascensions you can do, the farther you can get in the game. That is absolutely critical. You'll move pretty quickly through uh, these guild medals and stuff like that if you join a good active guild. Uh, so this is good. We're able to clear out, um, let's see, we're on, what, seasoned challenger. So we always clear that first that first round of this, and then we go into a second round 
We're working on clearing the second round before we go into a third round. Remember, there's three rounds to battle drills. That third round is an endless battle. So we're continuing to work through that. So we're doing a pretty good job there. What else do we have going on? Uh, for Arcane Labyrinth, I've been a little lax on this. I'm on uh, difficulty eight right now, so I'll continue to work through that. But I uh, haven't had too many challenges there. And as far as Legend Trials, here's where I am right now on my, on my floors. 44, 41, 47, and 43. So I'm just working my way through there. So remember, all of these max out at 90. And then once you complete campaign and once you max out your AFK levels, you're going to have a end game tower that will pop up. I'll, pop, I'll, I'll move over here really quick. It's going to pop up right here in uh, Remnant Peaks 8. You're not going to access it through the battle mode um, area that we just looked in there. You actually have to go to Remnant Peaks 8 and uh, enter that tower in there. And that's going to help you uh, continue to level your team past the max level in the game. That's the only end game content really in this in this game right now. I think more definitely is coming. Uh, but that was actually just, just this recent patch added that. So if you're there, you're probably already running through that. All right, what else do we have? Uh, really nothing else here. If I go into my Mystic Collection, I've got a few areas completed. Uh, these two areas, this Covenant Letter and King's Glory. Just working through these other areas here, which is all just different things, right? So this has to do with Arena. So I've got to get to Arena Tier 3 and Champion to unlock and complete that. Never Ending Book just has to do with completing quests. And my chests, all that. i got to get all the way up to 200 there. Annihilation Blade has to do with your resonance level. Uh, your Mithril is all about your VIP. Now, you can work through your VIP without spending money. It just takes time. I have spent a little bit of money, so I am um, at 8. So I need to unlock level 9 and 10. And then this Dreamland is all about, let's see, rank in the top 80% of Dream Realm ta 20 times uh, to unlock. So I've done that 18 times. One more time, that's for basic. You do have some intermediate and some advanced here as well uh, to work through. So two areas completed total. This is definitely good to work on because this is in it increases quite a bit of your AFK rewards here. The more that you do, the more that you get. Definitely uh, what, you, <laughs> what you put in is what you get out of it, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and let's see, is that it? I think that might be it. Uh, travel log here, I did purchase this. This was definitely a good deal. If you haven't gotten this yet, um, it was reasonable, and it the countdown is a long time. Right now, I'm at 77. It does go up to 100, uh, so I'll easily be able to clear this out. It's really just completing your dailies and your weeklies, uh, and if you're playing every single day, you're going to do it. Uh, epics, this is where I am with my epics. I need to defeat uh, seven more, so once I complete the campaign, it'll finish this Dispel Miasma. I got to hit Champion to wrap that up. And then the rest is just hitting my resonance levels. So I've got uh, 56 days left to do that, which I definitely will do. Other than that, I think uh, I think we're good. I did do this growth bundle here. Uh, so I've gotten some extra summons and diamonds and everything out of this as well. I thought this was a pretty good deal as well if you spend money on these types of games. Uh, and let's see, I'm at 3.1 million power for my team right now. So I'm going to continue to work through this. Obviously, I should wrap up uh, the campaign here probably in the next week or so. And um, hopefully continue to strengthen my team and just have fun and wait for the next campaign. I want to wrap this up so then I can just focus on farming and uh, ascending all of my heroes and getting where, where I need as far as my resonance level for my equipment and all that. Uh, but that's three weeks. That's three weeks worth of gameplay right there. So I think, uh, I think that's pretty good progress. Very curious on your thoughts. What do you think of the game so far? How far have you gone? Are you free to play? Are you putting a little bit of money in the game? What does it look like for you? Hopefully you guys are all enjoying this game. I've had a blast with it. And we're going to continue to play and cover it on the channel. All right, everybody. That is what I had for you. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. And we'll talk to you next time.